Good morning. The thing that is on my mind today is how hard it is to quit something that you have invested time and or money in. So sometimes we start a business, we will launch something and then a couple of years or a couple of months into it, we realize, shoot, that maybe that isn't exactly the way that I wanted to go. And we feel guilty, don't we? because we've spent so much time, we've spent so much energy launching a product or service. Sometimes the best thing that you can do is follow your heart and not get stuck in that place where you feel like you've already invested so much, right? We've got what they call sunk costs, so costs that we can't recover. Maybe it's the name of your business and you've got a domain name that you've paid for, you've got you know, your Gmail set up, you've got um, social media accounts out there with that name and you realize that you want to change name or change focus. I want you to not be afraid to take a step back and make that focus change. The tighter that you can make your market, the tighter that you can niche down and really identify who you want to serve, the, the more that you're going to see success come. And what's interesting is when we really get honed in on who we're serving and what we're doing and we make those changes that we need to make regardless of the sunk costs, not only do the people who are meant to serve resonate more with the things that we're creating, but other people who are really outside of what you might think are your target audience are going to resonate more with it too. So if you find yourself just slogging along doing the same thing over and over again because you've got some sunk costs or some sunk time in it, allow yourself to build the business of your dreams because this is how we create amazing businesses that feed our soul and really give to those people who you know that you're meant to serve. Not by pushing ourselves to just move down the path because this is what we committed to in the past. When we listen to our intuition, when we talk to our customers, when we really understand what it is we're meant to do in the next iteration, just think about the past money or time that you've invested as amazing learning opportunities and go forward and build the most amazing business, the most amazing life for yourself, because that is exactly how we create our dream lives. Let me know what you think about that and how you have had to make pivots in your business in order to create the dream life that you have envisioned for yourself and for the people that you serve. This is how we rise.